Smeaton's Tower is a memorial to celebrated civil engineer John Smeaton, designer of the third and most notable Ediston Lighthouse. A major step forward in lighthouse design, Smeaton's structure was in use from 1759 to 1877, until erosion of the ledge it was built upon forced new construction. The tower was largely dismantled and rebuilt on Plymouth Hoe in Plymouth, Devon, where it stands today. History Construction The Royal Society recommended Smeaton for the task, and he modelled the lighthouse on an oak tree. He rediscovered the use of hydraulic lime, a form of concrete used in Roman times. The technique allowed concrete to set underwater, as Smeaton put granite blocks together using dovetail joints and marble dowels. Construction started in 1756 at a site in Millbay, where Smeaton built a jetty in a workyard in the southwestern corner of the harbour to unload and work on stones. Timber rails of 3 feet 6 in 107 centimeters gauge were laid for four-wheeled flat trucks, which were used to move masonry around the site. A 10-ton ship named Ediston Boat was based here, and transported worked stones out to the reef. The ship carried the two and a quarter ton foundation stone out in the morning of the 12th of June 1756. The work was completed in August 1759 at a cost of 40,000 pounds, 6,018,590 pounds with inflation. Many Cornish tin miners were employed in its construction. To avoid the possibility of press ganging, a practice which was common at the time, Trinity House arranged with the Admiralty that the workers would be immune from the press. Each worker was issued a medal to confirm he was a worker at the lighthouse. The lighthouse was 72 feet high, and had a diameter at the base of 26 feet 8 meters, and at the top of 17 feet 5 meters. <laughs> As lighthouse After the structure was completed, the lighthouse's 24 candles were lit on 16 October 1759. Each candle weighed between 2 pounds .9 kilograms and 5 pounds .3 kilograms. A timepiece placed alongside the light was set to chime every half hour, alerting the lighthouse keeper to the need to replace expired candles. The lighthouse candles were replaced by oil lamps and reflectors from 1810. Further major renovations were carried out in 1841 by engineer Henry Norris, including the filling of a hole in the rock close to the tower's foundation. The lighthouse remained in use until 1877, when it was discovered that rocks upon which it stood were becoming eroded. Each time a large wave hit, the lighthouse shook from side to side. <laughs> As memorial Smeaton's Tower ceased operation in 1879 with the illumination of Douglas's Tower on an adjacent rock. In 1882 the upper part of Smeaton's Tower was dismantled and rebuilt as a memorial to Smeaton on a new base on Plymouth Hoe, replacing the triangular obelisk that had been built there by Trinity House as a navigation aid in the early 19th century. It was opened to the public by the Mayor of Plymouth on 24 September 1884. The foundation and stub of the old tower remain on Ediston Rocks, close to the current lighthouse. Since the foundation proved too strong to be dismantled, it was left where it stood. In 1860 a new penny coin was brought into circulation on which the lighthouse was depicted in the background behind Britannia and remained on the penny until 1894. The lighthouse was also depicted on a number of tokens issued during the 19th century in Devon with face values from two pence to one shilling. An 1850 replica of Smeaton's Lighthouse, Hode Monument, still stands above the town of Ulverston, Cumbria as a memorial to naval administrator Sir John Barrow. Smeaton's Tower has been a Grade I listed building since 1954. It is open for visitors, who may climb 93 steps, including steep ladders, to the Lantern Room, and observe Plymouth Sound and the city. See also List of lighthouses in England Grade I listed buildings in Plymouth